welcome back to my channel. So, it's summer, and I haven't done a resin wave on video yet, but I have a commission, so I thought let me do it here and uh, show you my process. So, they wanted a distressed, whitewashed look like old farmhouse wood, so my hubby found uh, pieces of distressed wood for siding. And as you saw, he cut for me and connected the two pieces and, and then uh, put a frame underneath to hold it um, secure. And here I am just putting on a mild whitewash and all I'm using is white acrylic paint and water and then rubbing it off with a uh, old t-shirt and uh, I did it multiple times till I got the level of whiteness. I didn't want to uh, put my white down too thick in case it wasn't what I wanted you know it you can always add but it's hard to take off so that's what I did and this is going to eventually turn into a um, piece that's going to hang on the wall with hooks for keys by a front door so that's going to be the final um, finished piece but uh, my customer wanted a resin wave they live at the beach and so they wanted a nice beachy key holder <laughs> to put by their door so everything i use will be listed in the description below along with any discount codes and links that i have as you can see there that's j diction resin you see these stringies that's before this is after mixing it. I thought since I was using a clear cup, it would be a great opportunity to show you how unmixed resin and mixed resin look. So you can see for yourself that you really can tell the difference that uh, whether your resin's mixed well or not. And then here I'm just adding uh, three different kinds of color pigments so that I can do my ocean water. And of course, the uh, darker will be toward the back, the furthest away, and getting lighter as it comes onto the beach where the um, wave will be. And my plan for the wave is um, probably going to be using a little more casting craft than you may have seen uh, other wave makers use. I don't know, uh, but I like, a foamy, a thicker foamy look as opposed to very, very light lacing, which is beautiful, but I just wanted it to really look like uh, 3D water and foam coming up to the edge of uh, the sand there. So that's what I did, and that's what you will see me do. And I will use a heat gun to move things around and uh, I will torch in between just to bring up a few little effects, a few little uh, lacing cells just from using the heat. And here you see I'm just trying to get my opacity right. Uh, it's hard to tell in the cup because it's concentrated. So a good idea is to just keep testing like I'm doing there on a paper towel until it looks like it's going to be uh, deep enough where you want it. Otherwise, you'll find that it'll end up looking probably more uh, transparent and watery than you uh, expected when you pour it out. So it's a good idea to test the uh, color on something like paper towel or a piece of paper, as you can see. So it takes a little time to get it right, and I thought that, you know, it was a good idea to show you the process. I went back a few times to add more pigment and different colors, and in some instances, some alcohol ink also, until I got it all just right.
So as you can see, I didn't do a great tape job. I should have put another piece of tape below that one around the whole side. So I do eventually uh, really got to clean it up here. And when I remove the tape after about eight or 10 hours, when things aren't uh, moving anymore and it's starting to set, then I put new tape on, cleaned up the sides first, and then uh, put new tape all the way around, as you can see. And uh, that worked much better.
So I sped up most of this video two times so that it wouldn't be too long, but I didn't want to really cut down the process. I wanted you to be able to see how many times I went back and added more white so that I could get that 3D foamy look. Um, it takes a little work sometimes, so don't get discouraged if it doesn't seem like it's working out the way you want. Uh, just put more white on and, and keep on heating it up and blowing it around. So let me take this moment to thank everyone for sticking with me. I love all my subscribers and my supporters, old and new. Uh, thank you for using my affiliate links. Thank you for sending me things on my Amazon wish list joining my Facebook and Instagram groups. Everything is in the description below. And also, if you haven't subscribed as yet, I hope that you will and click the bell for future notifications. Trying to grow the channel and uh, really make it successful. So anything you can do, I appreciate it, whether it's just a thumbs up or a comment or sharing my video, all of that matters. And I appreciate every one of you for being there for me. Thanks so much. Okay, so I pulled the tape about halfway through curing again and uh, sanded the sides where needed off camera, of course. And my husband cut out wood and put a frame around it so it looked nice and neat and finished. And then I wanted it to match a little better. It was a little too light. So I used some burnt umber acrylic paint with water brush that on, and then I did the whitewash again. So here's the finished piece. I'm so happy with it. Thanks to my husband for all of his help. So everyone, till next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.